Have you guys ever looked up to somebody because they were beautiful? I know I have. I always say stuff like, oh, they're beautiful, they could get anything they want, they could get that boyfriend they always wanted and desired. I was once that shy girl that couldn't look into people's eyes. I lost myself in all of my insecurities. I think when we acknowledge our insecurities, we're actually one step closer to self-empowerment. I want you guys to help me spread the word of self-acceptance. And we shouldn't be afraid to be who we are, no matter what people say. The project I want to do is about you guys sharing your insecurities with me. Because I believe that once we acknowledge our insecurities, we are one step closer to self-empowerment. My biggest insecurity today is my face. To be more precise, it will be my acne. And I feel like sometimes it kind of stops me from doing the things I want to do. But sometimes there's days that I could just care less, it's on my face. But I am taking those baby steps to saying, who cares? I have this big hole in my face and I shouldn't be trapped in my house saying, oh my goodness, people are going to look at me. Oh, no, forget that. And if they have something to say, screw you and your life. And I want to end the video by sharing with you guys the seven people that volunteered for my project, the Don't Be Afraid project. And here you go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, insecurity that I would like to share, which is now a strength of mine, and it is my Ojo's. One of my biggest insecurities would be um, the dark spots on my face on my forehead and on the sides of my cheeks. My insecurity is the fact that I look like my father. My insecurity is my voice. I'm insecure about my skin color. I guess uh, one of my biggest insecurities, and it's going to sound really silly, but uh, it's always been my body image or weight. The biggest insecurity I had was my smile because I had like this large gap that I had since a kid.